Uh, I do these films, some of them are documentaries, some of them are fictional, some of them are other things. This one is a documentary, uh, like all my films, very low budget. <coughs> Complete history of writing. Is it right to have the right to write? In prehistory they didn't. How'd we go from walls and caves to Egyptian graves to print and beyond print? 8,000 years back we first started keeping track. Two goats, one boat, ten berries. Then the Greeks added letters, and even better, they started putting it all in libraries. The Romans took those scrolls and bound them with some holes to make books which are more accessible on shelves. But writing stayed prestigious, mostly just for the religious, and monks and churches kept knowledge for themselves. But outside the church, writing started spreading, because it was better than forgetting, as we learned more about traveling, surgery, and plants. Then the Canterbury Tales began to make a lot of sales, but making copies was sloppy and it was hard to meet demand. China invented printing with wooden blocks, parchment gave way to better paper stock, and through trade routes these technologies moved west. Then a guy named Gutenberg in Germany combined great crushing with block technology and changed the world by inventing the printing press. Print let ideas spread with much greater acceleration, enabling the Protestant Reformation, the Scientific Revolution, the Renaissance, and Copernicus. In newspapers and pamphlets like Common Sense, people discuss <coughs> democracy and governments, leading to revolutions and the importance of no censorship. Hmm. While Gutenberg's old press helped make these changes by being able to print hundreds of pages, new presses came that could print thousands and then millions. With industrial printing in the 19th century came lots of <coughs> books and mass literacy and new kinds of culture for adults and for children. While poems and stories once entertained live, at home literature got more cerebral and private, experimental, psychological, modernist. And now with the internet, writing's even more widespread yet. Anybody can publish worldwide, for better or for worse. <laughs> now it's anybody's guess as to what will happen next, and what effect it will have on our ways of thinking and ways of acting. I kind of doubt that will stay on. Big rhyming handmade things made with crayons, but who knows, anything can happen. <laughs>